Good morning. What we're going to look at today is how you solve series problems that are in the ETCAI Basic Circuits Challenge Program. This is the items that are on the right side menu. They, uh, they are not in the light version of the program, but they're in the full version. So the first one we're going to look at is solving the series circuit. So as you're seeing in front of you, this is the order of operations for solving series. The uh, First thing you want to do is whatever resistor values are in the circuit, you want to add those up together to get what's known as RT for resistance total. Once you have the total resistance, then you want to divide the input voltage, typically called VS for voltage supply, sometimes VT for voltage total, you know, by that resistance total, and you get the total current in the circuit, which is IT. Then you want to get the individual resistor currents, which in a series circuit is easy. If you have IT, it's the same. As a series circuit, the current is the same value all the way through the circuit. It does not change. Next thing you want to get is the resistor voltage values, which uh, for every number of re resistors you have, BR1, BR2, up to how, whatever the last one is. After you get the voltage resistor, you get the voltage resistors by taking the resistor value and multiplying it by the current value. So I times R is how you get voltage. Then you want to get the, the total power for the circuit, and that's by taking the voltage powering the circuit and multiplying it by the current. So V times I, that'll give you the power for it. And then you want to get it across the individual resistors by multiplying the resistor value uh, voltage value by the current. So let's move on to the next slide. Okay, so here's the start of it. There's your uh, resistance total. Here you go. We've got a 2 ohm and a 5 ohm. You add them up, you get 7. So that's how you. And next thing it said, you got 7 volts powering it. So that's your voltage total. So you take resistance total. And the voltage total divide them. In this case is seven divided by seven. You get one. And because it's a series circuit, the IR1, IR2 values are the same as the IT value. Next thing you want to do is here's how you get the individual resistor uh, voltage values. It said that's the current value times the resistor ohm value. That's the voltage across the resistor. So you do those. Then you want to get this power total. So that's the current times the voltage. In this case, 7 times 1, so 7. So there's the – and then for getting the individual resistors, and then it's the current across the resistor times the voltage across the resistor. The uh, – and we back up here. So that's up to the next exercise. Okay, in a series circuit, a couple things to know. The voltage across the resistors adds up to the total. They will always add one. So in this case, you got two volts across the first resistor, five across the second, and they add to seven, which is what is powering the circuit. The other thing that's all, is additive in a series circuit is the power. The power is that are to watch across, the resistors will always add to the total power. So other exercise you're going to be doing um, series-wise in the basic circuits challenge is this. This is the uh, Series sources. So how you do series sources? The uh, it's either going to ask for the voltage or the current. If it's asking for the voltage, that's the, actually the first thing you got to do is see how the batteries are connected. If they're connected negative to positive, the voltage is add. If they're connected negative to negative or positive to positive, then the voltage is subtract. Once you have the voltage, if they're asking for the voltage, just enter it. But a lot of times they'll ask for the current. So you figure out the voltage, in this case, it said negative to positive, you add them, one plus two, that's three, and you divide it by the resistance to get the current. That's all I said, the, uh, uh, the basic circuit said, here's the two areas that I covered, doing series sources and the series one area. Series two is just a little bit harder uh, in any of the ETCAI program things. That's what they do in the second one. They just make it a little bit harder and score it a little differently. That's all for now. Have a great day.